Hello and welcome back to our Papal State campaign and we are in a little bit of a pickle. We uh, we have our army, it's quite nice, and but we can't pay for it. Um, it is too damn expensive and uh, we're, we're paying quite a bit on interest. No, not quite a bit, but we're paying some on interest. We could get rid of our advisors, that is an option. Uh, we're going to go and sit in Teresina and I think what we're going to do as well is have institution embracement cost reduction -y thing or spread or whatever it's called uh, because uh, I would quite enjoy these uh, territories you know getting the, uh, the institution so that it won't cost me an arm and a leg to get because for right now it would cost me a hundred ducats I can't afford a hundred ducats in fact I'm actually about a hundred ducats in debt uh, not a good situation uh, I'm also yeah gonna get rid of um... damn you trash. I'm gonna get rid of honestly all of them. I can't afford them. I, I would love to use them, but they're just too expensive for me right now. Um, I'm going to get myself a claim on Siena. I think um, at some point it'd be nice to get a, a war going against him, start expanding. We need to do something. Um, Venice at the moment would help, although they are defending against the Ottomans. And so we might actually be all right there. Austria and Milan would both join, and I would definitely uh, give them some land if we were to attack. Um, that might be an option we keep an eye on. I do want to claim on Siena first, though that seems uh, a little bit more important. The other issue that we currently have is this. Uh, we have the Shadow Kingdom about to fire, and we're currently losing pretty badly there. Um, so the Shadow Kingdom will fire, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay within the Empire. Um, ooh, Luck is also at war with Feren, uh, for Florence, and winning. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. Oh, and as I speak, the Shadow Kingdom indeed does fire. While the Kingdom of Italy is still formally part of the Holy Roman Empire, it has in many ways turned into a Shadow Kingdom, with the Italian states acting independently of the Emperor. The failure of successive emperors to restore imperial authority in the region has also left large areas under control of states that outright reject imperial authority. By now, the question for many Italian states is why should they allow a German Emperor any authority over their lands? Well, for me personally, Austria is my ally. Um, I'm I'm fairly happy with him, and I feel like, you know, membership of the Holy Roman Empire, for now at least, is going to be something I want. It will also deter attacks from others. Say Naples, uh, the personal union underneath France, decides that they would like Rome. Well, they've got France on their side, they could just eat the shit out of me. However, if I'm part of the Empire, uh, Austria would come to my defense and call in his allies as well. So I'm thinking our country is a natural part of the Empire, we'll lose 20 prestige, but honestly, I think that's a small price to pay for protection. So that's what we're going to do. Now looking at the Imperial map mode, we can see that Siena has actually left. Uh, Luca has left, Milan, uh, Mantua, Ferrara have all left the Empire. So... Well, getting a claim on Siena won't be as difficult as it previously was. It was going to be 30 because of the uh, the added cost for uh, claiming someone in the Empire. And Luck has actually taken land from Florence as well, so that's good for us. That means this is also going to be relatively easy to take. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we're going to go on a, an Imperial Crusade and, and add a bunch of land back into the Empire. And we're going to be doing that at least until we can... Uh, you know, leave by the formation of the kingdom of God. That's the plan. Whether the plan pays off or not, who knows? Oh, Luck has actually declared war on Siena now. He really is gunning for it. Holy shit. Well, if he takes the land, then, um, well, then we take the land. Siena is actually allied with just Ragusa. Oh, so Venice did break that alliance. Makes sense. He's currently busy with the Ottomans. There's no... Excuse me, there's another Jubilee in Strasbourg. Uh, I'm going to let that just go ahead. I, I don't much care about it. And another Jubilee in Köln. Uh, yeah, you can you can have a Jubilee. Totally cool with that. How soon is this going to... What's and More Jubilee? Yes, you can have Jubilees. Jubilees are great. I'm totally on board with the Jubilees. Uh, I'm very jubilant as a, as a Pope. Uh, some forged documents. Eh, whatever. Don't care. Uh, pr 
Prospero Roberto and his family, a merchant family from Rome, has come to greatly expand long-range trade with the Mamluks. Okay, we had this before as well. I'm going to get a little bit more of an influential trading family. Why not? Um, so we've almost got the claim on Siena. And I imagine if I just... Wait, what? Why do I need 30? I Oh, I'm inside the HRE, therefore it's more expensive. Well, that sucks. We also have a quarantine inside pretty much our entire country. That's bad. Renaissance has fired in Ancona. It just needs to spread to Abruzzi now. And we can turn it off for this state. But I want to keep it on for Rome, just so we can get uh, these two fully engaged. Yeah, I wonder. Are we going to be able to finish our claim beforehand? Maybe. It depends what he wants. Oh, he's taken it. And we are going to see Siena disappear. Oh, Milan has wanted me to jump in on their conquest against Venice and Nexos. Well, I'm going to say yes, but I'm going to say... Oh, I've already claimed this. Uh, fair enough. I'm going to accept, and we're going to go to war. Or rather, my allies are going to go to war, and I'm going to uh, reap the profits, hopefully. Oh, and there goes my navy. Fuck. We can embrace the institution. I'm going to wait until it's cheaper. Because I don't exactly have the most amount of money. I was going to pay off my debts. I believe, yeah, I'm completely debt-free now, which is lovely. All right, and can we get a claim on Siena? Come on. Oh, one more month. Oh, they, they didn't take Siena. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, I'm about a month away from getting it. Siena has accepted the offer from Austria to become a free city. No. No, no, no. Does that mean I can't declare war without Austria joining? Oh, you fuck! Oh man, that fucking sucks. One month away, come on. Jesus. That sucks so- Fuck you, Austria. You big sack of wet ball sacks. That really sucked. I'm gonna go raid Padova. Austria has now declared war upon Venice as well. Who sieges this? Not mine. Therefore, I don't care. I'm going to just sit here and uh, steal all of the wealth. Uh, lose prestige. Alright, what I'm also going to do is say that this here is a province of interest. Hopefully my vassals here... We'll make a claim on it, and then we can go to war. Bypass Siena for now. Um, do I want... I mean, I guess I should probably take at least a dip advisor. I've got no bloody trade ships now. Which is nice. Need to completely rebuild the, uh, the Papal Fleet. Also, my war exhaustion is now going up because I'm blockaded. Gee, thanks. Don't you just love having allies? France has declared war upon Burgundy. Ooh, we do now have a claim. Oh, Urbino, you beautiful bastard. All right, so we now have a claim on Abruzzi. That is Abruzzi. No, Arezzo. Uh, definitely, I will be going after Arezzo. Um, Bologna is... You are, you, you are part of the Holy Roman Empire, but are you... You're also a free city. Fuck. Also, something happened with the Ottomans. Was that bronze cannons? No, it wasn't. Uh, declared war upon Albania, I guess. Have you pieced out Venice? No. I don't know what the story is there, then. What I could potentially do is attack uh, Ragusa for getting um, Siena, but 
with Ragusa being protected by the Ottomans, not really likely. And I can't get a claim on uh, Serbia, who he's also allied. So, yeah, <laughs> no luck there. Venice. Oh, war has come to Italy. These are not the civilized skirmishes to which the Italians are accustomed. But war is practiced by the battle-hardened armies of Austria. The sound of church bells and haggling merchants will soon be replaced by the gruesome, destructive cacophony of cannon fire. Some Italians, the horrors of war, offer financial opportunity. The number of condottieri generals offering themselves to the highest bidder has ridden dramatically, and there is no shortage of veteran soldiers willing to join these mercenary armies. So, combatants in major Italian wars will gain access to Lombard and Tuscan free companies, reduced mercenary cost, and greater mercenary discipline. Oh, that's interesting. Let me have a look at those. Uh, so, we've got the free company, Gaudia Corsa, Reislaufer. Interesting. Uh, we've got the Bandinere. I mean, they still seem really fucking expensive, not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's uh, some nice new mercenary companies if we were to uh, go for them. I think it'd be quite interesting to do a mercenary only campaign. I, I, f I feel like that's probably possible. Oh, and there's the, uh, the modifier. The Lombard Free Company and the Tuscan Free Company are now available. There they are. They don't seem cheaper. They do not seem cheaper. It's still four dudes. They do have more combat ability, uh, but these guys have got more discipline. I don't know which one I prefer. Honestly, these guys, because they're cheaper. And they're based out of Lucka. Interesting. Alright, well, fair enough. Uh, how much war participation have we got right now? 22%. Hopefully that is enough to get ourselves Ravenna. It is a core of mine, after all. So, like, give, please. And that'll give us our own claim on Arezzo as well. So I don't have to uh, take it from my vassal. I think Urbino probably wants to be annexed soon. It's a shame I can't get a claim on Lucca. How soon until I can grab this? Claims bordering claims. I need 800. I've got 525. Maybe I should spend a little bit of dev on Rome to get it to 30 dev. I think that might be a good idea, so I'm going to swap this out to local dev cost. And then only level 1. It would be lovely if that was level 2. It is only 25 cost. Alright, let's start with mill. Let's get that up to 10. Then let's go admin, and then let's go dip. There we go. Level, sorry, uh, yeah, 30. It's very nice. It's a very nice place. And that is going to give me more points per month. Very nice. So we'll get up to, uh, we'll get up to 800 soonish. Uh, embracing the Renaissance would also give us more, but uh, not quite yet. And yeah, none of the others are really possible right now. Tristan of Albania's ended, Tristan of Naples has ended, Naples still beneath the uh, the French. Austria is again... Oh, Hungary's inherited Croatia, and Hungary is now a junior partner of Austria. So it's pretty good, then, that Austria is a buddy of ours. Because he is pretty fucking strong, let's put it that way. I want to keep Hungary, uh, Austria sweet. I want them to be a perma-friend of ours. And uh, so I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to start improving relations again with Austria. He is now probably the strongest power in Europe. Let's, uh, let's have a look at that. Uh, it says France is more, I guess because it's only half subjects development, but let's be fair, they're way stronger. Come on, Venice, time to give up now, buddy. Uh, this has now been completely owned, so I'm going to try and get over to other places that have some loot in them and uh, take said loot for myself. Ooh, rent's there. Nice. Yeah, uh, Venice, you're fucked, mate. Yeah, all this money. It's only seven ducats, but, you know, it's seven ducats I didn't have before, so I shall take it. would really love to attack this asshole. Lucca as well is a target. Florence. Florence has no friends. Really need to attack Florence, but I don't think I can right now. I have a transfer trade power agreement with them. Well, I can stop that. 
Honestly, I think what I'd rather do is just wait. Honestly, I think we're 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 in a not too terrible position. I think I need to just wait. I need to get this done. Uh, you finished, so you don't need this anymore. You can have no edict. Both of them have Renaissance. It's just Spoleto and uh, Terracina now that need to get their Renaissance. Be nice if we go a little bit faster, but I will. Great Cipher of Paulus II. Ever since childhood, cryptography has been a bit of a hobby for Paulus II, and he has matured so have to his methods of making sure that his secrets remain hidden. After the discovery of a series of opened letters, it has become clear that more people than is fitting read our correspondence with the provincial governors. Our Pope is confident that he uh, that he could increase security substantially. Yearly corruption goes down. Hell yeah. Corruption sucks. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. I'm going to take all the money there. Already done, already done, already done, already done, already done. Already done. Some money to be had. Let's go. Don't take the money from there. This is this is going to be my territory after all. So I just I just leave that one alone. And take the money from here as well. Uh, I don't feel like you need to follow me. This is all my money. Thank you very much. Uh, prevent the sale of relics. We lose five reform desire. Veneration of relics until the end of the game, giving plus five yearly tax income. Ah, oh, that's a rough choice. What's the current situation with Catholicism? You can see it here as well. Thirty-nine percent. I can I can get rid of a lot of that. I can get rid of a lot of that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's just boost stability, prevent the sale of relics. Uh, an error in the Curia accounts the distinction between the treasury of the papal state and the treasury of the Catholic Church is subtle, but uh, for but but for from merely semantic fog, spelling error. Uh, we have discovered that a large amount of money has mysteriously disappeared from the Curia treasury, while suspiciously a similar sum has appeared in the accounts of the papal state. Oh, yes, I like that. Uh, the paper trail suggests a shocking degree of institutional corruption that may even involve the Pope himself. I'm going to lose the money regardless. Ah. I lose the corruption, but the contribution goes up by 50% from me alone. I mean, I can't afford that. I need to get that. Well, I need the money for one, but I can't afford to not have that happen. Uh, we're going to wait until these are finished. Seems like the best option still. There's some high corruption, though. Hey, I'm not a scholar. That's nice. I love that. Can you win the war, please? We're only at 16%. Why? We control Bergamo. Located Rome by Venice. Oh, that's why. Yeah, you, you, that, that sucks. We're going to need to like fully annex him. Or fully occupy him. Which is going to be difficult. Unless I can get some... Oh, Perugia is already on his way down. To occupy these lands. We're never going to get to uh, Crete. Where are you off to? Not a clue. But, I mean, his capital is going to fall. That's going to be worth quite a bit. This has now been raided. Let's go to... Hmm, with two people attacking at the same time, that's not going to work out too well. Oh, what to do? What to do? I want this war to be over, but if Rome is occupied, I mean, that's not going to work, is it? I could just attack him now and, and uh, use Urbino's claim, but I'd really, really like to get my own claim. Although, I mean, if, uh, if we wait just a little bit longer, we'll get uh, claims bordering claims. That could help us out significantly. I guess while we're here doing nothing, let's just drill. Seems like a pretty decent idea. I mean, we're just gonna, we're just racking at war exhaustion, hand over fist, which ain't good. It really ain't. But I mean, Venice has got the fleet. It's surprising that we're even able to get onto Venice itself. I mean, that's that's the saving grace there as well. Uh, that we're already on Venice, we can we can afford it. We can afford to wait. 
That's a lot of his power. The other annoying thing is, part of this is held by Austria, part of it's held by Milan. Oh, I'm actually also going to transfer this to Milan. Who's in control? Okay, Milan's got control of uh, the war goal, so that's good. That's really good. Or he's got control of the siege. So, uh, yeah, if we do end up sieging it, it's not going to go to a separate war that we're not involved in. So, happy with that. I uh, hope the siege goes faster, please. Even Grace Renaissance makes sense. Uh, trade power and local trade power. Hmm. Hmm. Grant goods. Uh, sorry, development cost. Oh, development cost is really nice, but I have already developed. So I'm going to go with uh, pissing off Savoy because fuck Savoy. Makes sense to me, after all. Come on. Win the siege already. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Fuck you. Got no siege whatsoever. If I got over there, I would be able to help out, but there's no way I can get over there now with the, the navy. Uh, so heavily blockading the area. Come on. Yes! 52 war score. That's enough. You can get what you want, and I can I can get my province of Ravenna. Look, I do have 40% uh, uh, participation, so you should be giving me my core. Come on. Do what you're... Do what, oh, God, you're about to lose your army. Or are you? No? Oh, it looks like you won. Good boy. Wasn't expecting that. Right, come on. Peace out. Peace. Peace. We need peace. I need peace. Come on, peace. Three leagues in Perugia are sieging here as well. What was that? Mm, nothing. Okay. Come on. You're never going to get more war score than this. Peace out. Take what you need and peace. Come on, buddy. Burgers request privileges. I don't want to give you privileges, honestly. Both of these seem like really shitty options. And now the nobles are pissed. Um. Hey, peace has been signed. Okay. Uh, let's ignore that moment. Uh, Venice will see Brescia and Bergamo to uh, Milan. Venice will give core Ravenna to the people. See, yes. Um, ten percent of their income, war operations. Yeah. Um. And their overload ship over Nexos. 415 ducats to Milan. I get 175 ducats. Hell yes. It's 17 favors. Oh, that's beautiful. That's fucking sweet. Let's get our claim on Florence immediately. Let's stop drilling. And let's end the episode because I have unfortunately run out of time. In the next episode, we're going to go to war with Florence. I am going to wait though until I get... Uh, you know, another 20 months so I can get uh, 800, get its claims, bordering claims, so I can make a claim on Firenze as well, and then also on Lucca. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.